Hello everybody, it's Allison. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if not, welcome back. I hope that you are ready for an awesome workout today. We're going to do my every other routine. So basically it's a total body workout, but every other exercise is going to be lower body. So I love this because for one, lower body is my favorite to work, but also it just really helps to get the, keep the heart rate up by doing those exercises with the larger muscle groups of the legs. So anyway, again, my name is Allison. This is Livia. She's my 20, <laughs> my 20 month old daughter. And she will be with us today as we work out. Okay, hugs, 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 hugs. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna work out. Let's start with our warm up. I'm gonna push play on our timer. Please make sure that you have water with you so that you can stay hydrated throughout the workout. So go ahead and just start with some marching in place. Warm up. All right. So we're just gonna do a quick three minute warm up before we get into our exercises. Like I said, it's alternating between upper and lower body. We have 10 moves today. Um, our last exercise is a core exercise, but other than that, it's upper body and lower body. And um, so each exercise we'll do for two rounds. It'll be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So at the end, we'll do a warm up, bring the heart rate down, do some stretching, and then that'll be it for the day. So. Anyway, I'm so excited that you're here. If you are new, um, my name is Allison. Again, I probably have said that three times now, but <laughs> I have been in the fitness industry for a long time. Fitness has always been a part of my life, even when I was a kid, because my parents were super active and healthy. Like they just loved living a healthy lifestyle. They still do, but um, so it was, they left such a great example for me. So when I graduated high school, I decided, hey, I'm gonna go into the fitness industry. So kind of have gone in and out of that when I was younger, but five, almost five years ago, I switched back to fitness because I had my son. And so I started working from home and doing um, fitness online. And it's been really great. It's been super fun to be in it. And uh, just this past year, a handful of months ago, I started doing YouTube. So thank you for being here. I post new workouts every Thursday. So stay tuned for that. If you have um, a workout request, a, a format or something that you would like to see me do, please put it in the comments below. Um, oh, and also please don't forget to like this video. It's super, woo! I'm trying not to step on these snacks, so I'm just gonna move this really quick. Anyone else's kids love magnet tiles? I found those at Aldi for like $17, which if you know, magnet tiles are really expensive. So anyway, they're my son, but she really loves them too. All right, so, <laughs> one more thing. Oh yes, please like this video because it's super helpful for my channel. The more that, the more likes the video gets, the more that it's pushed out on YouTube, and so the more people see it, and the more my channel can grow. So, anyway, we're just gonna wrap up about the last 25 seconds with some jogging in place, and then we're gonna get started with our moves. You'll see over here that I have dumbbells. So if you would like to have dumbbells in today's workout, go ahead and grab yours. But they're optional. You can do this workout totally without them, just make it a body weight workout and you'll still get a fantastic workout. So don't worry, just cause I'm doing that doesn't mean that you have Exercise. to. Work All right, so go us. ahead and stop. <laughs> We're gonna get some water before we start. Are you gonna work out with us today? Mm -mm. Well, all right then. <laughs> Exercise. Alright. So work in the shoulders. As you can see, I'm rotating in at the top. So starting in a shoulder shoulder press position, press up and rotate in. Alright, very good. You have 19 seconds left. Shoulder. 
exercise. What do you have to say? Really? All right, really feel those shoulders working. Picture in your mind those shoulders activating and making this movement happen. I find that the more that I actually picture it in my mind, the more that I can feel it. It's called a mind-muscle connection. All right, eight more seconds. Feel those shoulders working. Three, two, Rest. and one. Very good. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our first lower body exercise of the day. And it's going to be a three plane leg lift. I'll show you from the side. Exercise. So it's forward, side, if you want a chair, you can hold on to that, like, to the side of you. But basically, for this first round, we're gonna stay on the same leg, and then the second round, we'll do the opposite leg. Keep going. I just don't want her standing on. Thank you. Thank you. Forward, side, back. Very good. All right. So go ahead and get some water. Feel free to get water whenever you need throughout the workout. We're gonna go. March it out, and then we're gonna go into our second round of that. So we're gonna do that one more time. All right, for our second round. Boop, boop, boop. Exercise. Thank you. All right, go ahead and begin. Very good. nice and tight. Squeeze that back, feeling it in the core as well. Knees are soft. Very nice. Keep it up. 15 seconds remaining. Boom. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you trying to count? Okay. Very good, so now we're done with back. We're gonna go back to lower body. Uh-oh. So we're gonna do something that's called a pendulum lunge. So 
So on the set, same leg, we're gonna go forward, center, and back. Forward, center, and back. All right, so we are moving on to a voiceover now. Olivia was getting fussy and I ended up putting her down for a nap. Um, I'm about to show you the modification for this. It's a front leg raise, back, and then back to a kickback. So stop in the middle, pause, and then a kickback. So anyway, yeah, I ended up putting her down for a nap. So the rest of the workout, I needed to be quiet. So we are now at a voiceover, but we're about to move into our second round of this pendulum lunge or the alternating front raise and a kickback. So we'll go into that for our second round and continue working the legs. Take me back to the nights we felt alive. Picking up the pieces on a summer night. I didn't know that I would feel just like my heart's on fire whenever I'm with you. Cause we go back in time to thrills I miss and all the things I wish we did All I know is that I need somebody like you Cause I can't waste another night sitting here alone Hoping for your voice on the telephone I know it's a super cut as you walk away Playing in my mind all the things I never go to my All right, great job. Keep that core tight. We're almost done. A couple more reps. Three, two, and one. Very good. All right, so we are going to move on into our next exercise for the upper body, which is going to be a, a chest press. So I'm going to do mine on the ground, but if you would prefer, you can just do a standing chest squeeze where you push the hands, your hands together like the heels of your hands and then push your hands out and then bring them back to you. But go ahead and start with your chest press. Also, I have to apologize for this horrible angle. I know that I'm kind of cut out. Um, I was trying something out today with, or this day with how I had my camera position and I had it flipped the other way because my husband told me that it takes better quality for the camera. So I couldn't really see, I was guessing where I fit into the camera screen. So we're still trying to figure out and just like tweak things and make it all better. But anyway, so I apologize for that, but hopefully you can see enough to know what I'm doing. 10 more seconds with this. Keep going. You've got it. Keep that core tight as you squeeze the chest. Three, two, one. Very good. All right, so we're gonna do a little rest, shake the arms out a little bit, get water if you need to, and then we'll go back into our second round. And with this round, you'll see that I do a little option where I just, at the top, I twist in, kind of like how we did right there um, how we did with the shoulder press for our first move of the day so if you want to do that it's an option if not don't worry about it it's always I just I don't know I always like kind of doing different angles doing different things and giving different options to just give variety and stuff like that so it's always an option but do what works best for you also a push-up is a great option if that is something that you feel more comfortable with today so you got this keep that core tight work the chest and you got 15 seconds left All right, so our next move, the next lower body move is a squat to side step. So you're gonna do a squat and then you go into three side steps. So going back and forth with a squat and side steps. Love this move. Um, so I'm curious how everybody's Easter's went. Ours was good, it was pretty chill. We are just kind of in a busy season right now in life. And so other than church and just hanging out, that was, we did um, a couple little hunts for the kids so they were able to look for things with eggs and stuff like that but it was a really chill day and it was really really nice so I hope that everybody had a great holiday
we go into our second round of the squat and the side step. Very good. Make sure that you are keeping that core nice and tight. And with the side steps, go down as low as you, what feels comfortable for you. If you would rather stand and just do large side steps to the side, that is perfect. Whatever works for you, just we're here to, you know, fit our exercise in. Life is busy, especially if you're a uh, work at home, work from home mom, stay at home mom. Like it is just hard to get things done, especially things for ourselves. So I just really prefer not to sweat the, the details of these things. So it's like, I don't want people to stress over the details of like, oh, well, I did the modification or I didn't do it how she did. Like we're here, we're moving our bodies, which is something to be thankful for. And you know, a lot of times it really is a big accomplishment. So this is all about just fitting fitness into your life and making it work for you. Okay, we are moving on now to a bicep curl and then it's a two wrist rotation. So curl, stop halfway, rotate the wrist two times and then lower back to starting position. So let's work those arms, squeeze those biceps and continue on with our moves. You guys are doing so great and we are really busting through these exercises. So before you know it, it'll be time to cool down, which side note, I know at the beginning of the the, during the warm up, I said, Oh, we'll do a warm up at the end. I definitely meant cool down. So thanks for bearing with me. Almost done with these bicep curls. We've got 11 more seconds. Keep going, keep that core tight, knees soft, squeezing those arms. Make sure that you're exhaling on the exertion and then inhaling, three, two, one. All right, nice job. So we are going to move on to our next move, which is going to be a side lunge into a hamstring curl. If you would prefer to do side leg lifts you can or you can do the side lunges without the hamstring curl because it does require quite a bit of balance so just do what works best for you work those legs and just keep having fun with it as much as you can i know that it's still it's still work but it's like i said this is something that we if we really shift our focus and our mindset on like i get to do this and i'm so thankful that my body is able to do this we can really have fun with it so i think it's just so much in our mind and how we can change things into positive. Gratitude really does change everything. I know that that saying is kind of, I don't know, it's just over said. And I think that a lot of times it's over said without really thinking about what it means. But when we shift our mind to things that we're grateful for, it really does change so many things. And it can kind of like, here's another cheesy one. It can turn that frown upside down, <laughs> but for real. So if we just kind of shift our focus on, I'm so glad that I can do this. It really does. It really can be a lot of fun. All right, going into our next round.
my friends, we are done with lower body for the day. So we're gonna do a tricep exercise next. It's called a lateral extension. You're also gonna feel this in your shoulder. So you're gonna have your arms up. You'll see in a second here. So arms up like this and then extend out to the side. I felt like it was feeling more comfortable for me to do alternating, but do what works best for you. I also would recommend that if you've never done this exercise to do it without weights first so that you can really feel how it's working in the back of your arm as opposed to just your shoulders because your shoulders do have to work a lot just to keep their arms up in this position. But um, yeah, it's really, this is an exercise where we really want to focus on working the back of the arms, the triceps. So if you're feeling it more in your shoulders, go ahead and drop those weights and just do this as a body weight exercise because I promise you will still feel it. All right, we're going into our last exercise, which is going to be for the core, as I mentioned at the beginning, and we are just doing a crunch. I have my, uh, my legs up so that I can engage more of my lower abdominals, but you can have those feet on the floor and just have the knees bent, and then you're just bringing that upper body up, a little crunch. So that's what we're doing here. Again, sorry for the bad angle. I'm a little bit cut off, but you know what I'm doing. So let's let's bust through 28 more seconds of this, and then we have one more round before we stretch and cool down. And then you're just gonna see a little modification here if you wanna give that a shot. All right, everybody, our exercises are done for the day. Awesome, awesome job. So right now we are just going to be cooling down, bringing the heart rate down, stretching, getting water. Um, if you need to end your workout here, I totally understand. I know things are busy, but I will encourage you, please find time to stretch later and then just stay moving throughout your day and stay hydrated. So other than that, I'm not really gonna talk a whole lot through the stretches. I like this time to be focused on more just like chill and having some quiet time because you know, our days just get so busy and there's not a lot of time for quiet. So I like to make some room for that here. And then just as I was talking about before, just think about your day, try to think about it in a positive way, a grateful mindset. And uh, yeah, so let's just stretch those muscles, help them to recover and enjoy some quiet with some music, of course. But as far as me talking, it's going to be quiet.
All right, everybody, that is it. Great job on all of the exercises today, the stretching. So glad that you are here. I really hope that you enjoyed this workout and that you feel so good right now. So again, thank you. I had so much fun and I hope that I will see you next week. Please don't forget to like this video. Again, like I said, it helps so much. So I appreciate your support. Have an awesome day and we will see you next week. Have a great one.